I'm happy for them. Um, you know, they <clears throat> they work really hard at their craft, and uh, it's a result of a lot of a lot of people having success. And um, you know, Marcus and PJ, what they pour into these guys to get them ready each and every day, and then them going out and executing a game plan. This is this is about them, and happy for them today. You knew you had a tremendous amount of talent offensively coming into the season, but did you ever envision that there'd be that much production as far as home runs are concerned? I, I don't know. I guess it was possible because I felt like those were the first questions I got on the job, you know. So I guess when you look back, though, the way in which we've done it, uh, the amount of people, maybe the amount of people that you didn't expect to contribute um, as many home runs as they have, I think that's been that's been – that's been special, and, and, and that so many guys have had a significant hand in, in, uh, in, in breaking that record. You mentioned the amount of people. You know, look at the batting order one through nine. Everybody now has hit 20 home runs each position. That's the first time it's ever happened in Major League Baseball history. Is that something that pops out to you? Yeah, I, I didn't even know that until before, uh, before the game, my meeting with, uh, with the broadcast team, they said uh, they're going for 20th in the nine hole, and I'm like, Oh, I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently it was. So when Glaber actually when Glaber hit it, I I was sharing all that information with the guys on the bench because I felt like I had this newfound knowledge. But um, you know, I, I guess fitting maybe that it was one of our one of our young studs that got it done. Lynn, Real, I thought he was really good, and uh, you know, going through a lot of their lefties today as well. Um, I thought. I thought he was really sharp, um, and you know, we really feel like he can serve a lot of roles for us in the postseason. You know, whether it's getting a tough righty out in a certain situation, whether it's giving us some length in the middle innings, you, you never know. But we envision a potential of a lot of uh, situations for him, and to see him come in today and pitch well was nice. Does your confidence continue to increase with Tarpley as well? Yeah, I mean he's. You know, after that first rough outing, he's really uh, he's come in and filled up the strike zone, and, and you get that sense that lefties don't see the ball great against them. Um, you know, even today when he when he got into some deep counts, he he didn't budge. You know, he kept pounding the strike zone and got two more big outs today, and and continues to uh, to really impress us and get our attention. Did you set that up with a potential ALDS matchup in mind? The way he Tarpley. came in, yeah, to face Benintendi. Yeah, we, we kind of envisioned today uh, Domingo going that first time through, um, and and seeing those two lefties, we thought it would be a good spot to get Tarpley in and just give him another another run against a couple of lefties. So, yeah, we kind of planned that out that way. Did that ball actually hit John Carlo Stanton as he was I think coming it did, in? Yeah. First time ever seen something like that. Yeah, I think so. You see a lot of things in the in these games. Are you cool with fans throwing the ball in? Are you a fan of that? Not when they hit our players, no. Um, I think some places it's tradition and it lands on the field. I should probably, should probably just hang on to it. You are, uh, you know, knocking some pretty good people off of out of records. You know, I think he, you know, he passed DiMaggio, and does that when he does something like that for all the other accomplishments he's had this year? Yeah. Does that kind of stand out? Yeah, when when they said when they were explaining to a few people and who's who's a serious question on the bench, whose whose record did that break? And someone just said DiMaggio and oh, not bad. That's possible. You never know. Uh, but that's I mean, what a what a terrific hitter he is and and, and you know, finishing off a, a great rookie season. Okay, just getting in a little little rest there. Yeah, by design we were going. Uh, we we're going to get Didi and and Hicks out of the game early, and then Glaber as well. So uh, that's kind of yeah how we set it up today. When you talk about Glaber and maybe kind of making those contributions, but when you think about the beginning of the year, they weren't here. You know, what right. does that just say about uh, the full circle of their season? Yeah, I mean. It, First, it speaks to their talent, but also I think of who they are. You know, to to come into this kind of situation <clears throat> um, and really thrive and and go through all the 
<clears throat> ups and downs that happen over the course of the year and, and show the ability to constantly make adjustments. And um, they've just really, really not only been impact players, but just been impressive with how they've gone about it and, and handled every situation. And uh, just, just really proud of the season they've been able to turn into this point. Suspended for five games. Is that yeah? Is that okay with you? Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. I understand that. Yeah. 